Last lap, buddy. Last lap. Go, go, go. He does not like losing. He is mad right now. Mason, how did you get into the VIP booth? Do you remember? Do you remember? It looks so good. Just treat this like the bull turns at the skate park, Luke. Just like lean into it and rail around it, man. So we're here at PIR for Thursday Night Motocross, doing a little track walk before the practices, and the track is looking nice. What do you think, Mason? This is your first time walking the track, buddy. The ground's pretty soft, but luckily for you, your practice is last, so this dirt should be packed down and be a lot better for you, okay? I'm gonna point out to you on the track where I want you to send it, all right? So I'm gonna have you send it right here. Uh, we're gonna have you send that one, and then go ahead and send all of these over here too, all right? Yeah, send them. They're both the same one. There were kids clearing this on 65s last time. This I'm not saying go for it, I'm saying that your bike can. So if I were you going into the rhythm section, maybe try, I wouldn't try to double the first one. I would roll the first one and then double out. So go single double. Oh. You're gonna be able to double this lot easier, I think. That may be the only double in the section you could do. Right now, the track is prime, it's soft. By the end of the night, this is gonna be all chewed up. There's gonna be braking bumps right here. There's gonna be ruts through here. Hey Luke, this, this turn right here, this is the turn you made your one pass on. Actually, I made three passes. Yeah, you passed, you passed one kid there and then you passed the two down riders. This corner right here, they named it Luke's Loop. He made this turn famous by passing three riders on it. It was awesome. Mason, like that? Or like that? Or like that? Like that. Like that? There you go, buddy. Good old number two. Yeah. Sorry you couldn't be 102 yet, but you know, you'll grow into it. Soon you'll get a bigger bike and you'll be able to be 102. All right, so we got the bikes prepped. We got the bikes all ready to go. We got the practices done. Kids are riding around. It's been awesome because so many kids have come up to us and been helping out, giving Luke pointers, cheering Mason on and stuff. Now we're working with Luke on starts. Nice. Good job, man. Yeah. What do you take off? So we got the whole shot artist over here. Grant's been helping Luke out. Luke, are you ready now? You think you got it? Yeah. Are you ready to get the whole shot? I, I no. This is panic time right now though, because we got to tighten this chain. <laughs> this is super loose. It's about to fall off. We got to tighten this chain, but Mason's race is about to start, and you need your GoPro. We need the GoPro, and we need to tighten the chain. Ah, we got to get to work. I'll be there in a second. I'm gonna get your bike ready, okay? Okay, so Mason is race number five, which is coming up any second. Then Luke's is right after that. So I have to try to get this chain tightened before Luke starts. Well, this sucks. I figured out why his chain got so loose so fast. This lug nut fell off, which is very dangerous. That is a massive bummer. Right, the good news, it didn't come off during the race. Luke's night is probably done. He got two left to practice. And his night's done. Dang it. Try the five by one.
Same footsteps as Luke. He started his first race in blast right now. There you go, buddy. All right, Mason, I can tell you this much. Mason hates to lose. He is, he's mad right now. Mason's going after it. Probably a good thing if the GoPro's not on right now because I'd probably have to do a lot of editing. There's probably a lot of words that are gonna have to be censored because Mason is mad right now. Pick him off, dude, pick him off. Come on, Mason, get after it. Last lap, buddy, last lap, go, go, go. He does not like losing, he is mad right now. Like if this is a Fortnite game, if he's losing a Fortnite game, he's he's pissed. So I can only imagine how he's feeling right now. Chance to pass somebody, Mason. Come on. I was just editing this vlog and came to this part. Haven't seen this footage yet. And, um, Mason! So, uh, watch this, watch this clip, Mason. You almost died. He almost died? Did you almost kill him? What was that, Mason? Did you, yeah, I know, come here. Did you not see the checkered flag? Did you not know the race was over? I did not know. You did not know the race was over? Well, why did you think there were two guys standing in the middle of the track? Were you like, oh, they're gonna add some obstacles, new obstacles this lap, I gotta dodge the, uh, I gotta dodge the guy in the worn out blue jeans? Is that what you were thinking? Mm -hmm. What were you thinking? Oh, were you like, oh, that's probably the, uh, that's probably the girl in the PW50's dad. He's probably mad because I passed her, so he's probably trying to take me out. Is that what were you thinking? No. <laughs> Okay, this is literally my first time seeing this clip, so I did not know that this happened. I did not know that 
Mason uh, almost ran over a guy. <laughs> like how dedicated of a track attendant are you that you're willing to lay down your life in order to keep Mason from getting an extra lap? Oh, you know what, this makes sense now. I told you you passed somebody on the last lap and you said, yeah, but they got you back at the end. I was like, no, I saw you. I saw you go over the finish line and you were in front of them and you're like, yeah, but then they got me back. So I was confused, that makes sense now. Mason thought that because he went the wrong way, he had to turn around and somebody else was able to exit the track first. He thought they got ahead of him and they beat him, but he didn't realize the finish line is actually at the beginning of the jump. So it doesn't matter what happens afterwards. It doesn't matter who exits the track, but. Okay, sorry guys, I'm just editing this video right now and I just had to stop and commentate because <laughs> that was too funny. All right, back to the vlog. Good job! You did so good! Did you crash? Yeah. You did? Yeah. Where? Uh, the, you know that part was like, the foot is like, part of where you like jump and then like straight away? And then like you turn that? Uh, I crashed on the first lap. Mason! Dude, how was that? I fell on the first lap though. You did? You fell? Yeah, and then this lady helped me. <laughs> really? I didn't see you fall, dude. Your is your your GoPro's on? It's off. It's off? Yeah. I turned it off after the race. Okay. Mason, good job, dude. How how many riders did you pass? I don't know. You passed a ton of riders, huh? Good job, Mason. I'm so proud of you. The gate dropped and you just went, man. You just clicked through the gears and you were just gone. You knew right what to do, huh, man? Mm -hmm. A few moments later. Dude, I'm so sorry. The lug nut is missing from like the axle. Can I race? No. Like your wheel was this close to falling off. Like I. Wait, first it's the, the radiator and you now it's. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. His chain was super loose. I'm like, dude, I gotta tighten your chain. And then I go to look, and like the wheel is, is just the barely hanging on. Yeah. yeah, your wheel could have fallen off while you were riding, dude. Can it? There's nothing bolted to the axle right there. I'm so sorry, Luke. Let's talk about a swing of emotions. Like I just felt so good about how good Mason did, and then, and I'm so bummed about you not being able to ride, Luke. Where's the bolt? It probably flew off on the track somewhere. I don't know where the bolt. I don't know if we have time, Luke. Luke's first moto is about to start. He's definitely gonna miss his first moto. I feel horrible. It's just as the last ditch effort, I'm gonna walk around and see if any of the dealers here happen to have any parts on them. You'd think they would. They used to, but I don't think they really do that anymore, but I'll try. All right, so uh, we found somebody who gave us a lug nut off of their trailer. We think it's holding. Uh, chain's a little loose, but I think we're gonna give it a go. I think we're gonna try it for the second moto and see what happens. So shout out to the guy who's missing a lug nut on his trailer. Thank you. What's your name? Addy. What's your YouTube channel? I have one with Chris. You what? I have one, but I'm cringe. <laughs> You're cringe? Yes. If you like cringe videos, go watch her videos right now. Yeah, Addy the gymnast. Addy the gymnast. Don't worry, my things are cringy too. You could have a cringe contest to see who's the most cringiest. Okay, you ready, Mason? All right, we got Mason's Moto 2 coming up. He's rocking the Evil Knievel style helmet since he uh, still missing the visor from the crash about a week ago. But uh, Mason, what do I need to do? Come here. 
What inspirational thing can I say to you to motivate you to get uh, fifth or better? What do I need to say? Like, you got this, go get them, I believe in you. Get mad, get angry. Pretend you're playing Fortnite. What do you want me to say? What's gonna make you go after it? Nothing? Go like that? That'll motivate you? Okay, we'll do that. Cracks me up because Mason's not nervous at all. Luke was nervous the first couple. Of, oh, we got a vlog bomber, vlog bomber. Luke was definitely nervous his first race, but Mason, Mason's stoked. He's not nervous at all, man. This Mason, fifth or better, send it, buddy. Tear it up, man. Let's do it. Focus, buddy.
has like on a Did you a crash? Wheel. No, but you, but I like accidentally turned around, no? You know you're you supposed turned to stand around up on, on accident! Well that was pretty cool. Mason got a last lap pass once again. I honestly had no expectations for him. I had no idea what he was going to do. I've seen him go balls to the wall, race around a track with big bikes, and I've seen him putz around and just kind of cruise around a track too. I had no idea what he was going to do, but that was cool. He did great. Mason, you had two awesome races tonight. That was so good. I've had two races in one <laughs> Yeah, Luke hasn't had one yet. But dude, you you were passing people the whole time, huh? I'm proud of you, buddy. Do it again. Give him nuts again. There we go. <laughs> Take two. That'll work. Looks really nervous about the clutch. Like what? I know. What, what are you most worried about? The start? Yeah, I really don't want to crash. Okay. Go. Well, like, there's two things that would suck. One, you stall the bike in front of everybody on the start. Or two, you give it too much gas and loop out in front of everybody. Don't do that. Look, this is just a learning experience, okay? There's no championship points on the line. You're not gonna win. You're just here to learn and get better. There's first. There's Tristan. Oh, that kid's flying. I think it's probably safe to say he's probably our fastest viewer. Kids flying. Congrats on second, man. That was awesome. You killed it. You got second, right? You got first? Oh, okay. Sorry. Congrats on first. All right, well, Luke's one and only race is up next, his second moto. Honestly, it's gonna be a little bit challenging for him because he hasn't run the track since practice session. He didn't get to ride the first moto because of the bike issues. So he hasn't seen the track. It's changed, it's evolved, it's got new lines, it's got braking bumps. It's a whole new track for him, so no expectations really. Okay, I think as far as I'm concerned, this is just like a practice for him. First call, race 13. the gate we'll say that there you go buddy he didn't he didn't stall he didn't hit the gate so it was a good start <laughs> right yeah first time yeah that was so bad my first race
did you get into the VIP booth? Oh, what? <laughs> Mason! together so I mean that's good but it's obvious that he's not comfortable on the bike yet it's obvious that he's not attacking the track yet so we've got some work to do but man this was fun this was this was a lot of fun let's see if your results are up yet buddy race six right five race five MX1 you got six you got six both motos a six and a six you couldn't have gotten fit really the six was the best you could do. Mason, you would have got a trophy at fifth. Carson Jackson gets a trophy. All the highlight, that's when you get a trophy. Oh, really? If you're highlighted, you get a trophy? Oh, man. I'm going to bring our highlighter next time so we can highlight your name.